Traveling will make you very grateful, very grateful indeed. You should contemplate on who you are, what you are, and most importantly, what you have, because you should be grateful for what you have. You should give thanks on a regular basis and ponder on this from time to time. Sometimes we need to put ourselves under new circumstances to understand what we really have. I for one take my parents, brothers, sisters and my home for granted at times. For anyone else that does, try spending a few months on the road and then taste your mother's homemade food. Or listening to your sister's boring day. Who else can match your brother's goofy behaviour? Or the type of impact your dad has on your daily life? Absence makes the heart fond, they say. But what that means is you realise what Allah has blessed you with. Appreciate the daily lifestyle you've created, the routine you have, the friends and the relationships you've built. You really don't know what you have until it's gone. Sometimes it's good to pop over to the other side and see if the grass is really greener. Because sometimes it's just good to just appreciate the things you may just take for granted. All travel has its advantages. If the passenger visits a country that's better than his, he may learn to improve his own. And if fortune carries him to worse, he may learn to enjoy it. Appreciation can come in all shapes and sizes, physical and emotional. Such as a conversation over the phone with a loved one that's very far away from you. After a long hot day, walking into a nice building or vehicle with air conditioning. Or well, my favourite, just smelling your clothes and just reminding yourself of home and just making you feel as if you're back at home. Whilst travelling, I had the chance to not watch TV but rather read a book. Instead of texting, I was seeing and visiting more people. Instead of having food cooked for me, I was cooking for myself. Instead of repeating the same habits I had, I was trying new things. Your appreciation and gratitude is especially heightened when you visit certain parts of the world where you're confronted with real world problems. You'll see poverty, hardships, lack of human necessities and an individual's daily human survival put into reality. You begin to understand that appreciation and gratitude varies from person to person and place to place. We tend to have a realisation of what we do have, which can spark to our intuition of awareness of those around us as to what their lifestyle may be like in comparison to ours. Another way you experience appreciation is when you lose something or you're taken out of your comfort zone and you finally realise something's now not there anymore. You know, it can be something that brings you emptiness in your heart, such as losing your job, a significant other, or losing that one sweep that, you know, just hit the ground and vanished forever, you couldn't even find it. You know, this can make you feel like you've lost a part of yourself, a part of your soul. And no matter how much you search and search for it, it's nowhere to be found. Not until you travel. Travelling fills in them gaps that you thought were black holes. It allows you to be content rather than feeling like you're missing something. All this appreciation and understanding will make you more of a wholesome and complete individual. You'll realise that your home is more than just where you grew up. Your experiences are more than just memories. The food and drink on the table is more than just energy. Your friends and family are more than just people. A reminder guys, if you're a traveller or not, never be shy in saying thank you. Be grateful 